For the record, we're starting our walk at, what is this called? Cornerstone Park. Cornerstone Park. Off of Wigwam in Las Vegas, Nevada. And Mark's going to give us a tour of his walking path and provide us insightful things and probably some stupid things that will be documented and I'll be glad to point out. Okay, that's all the print. So it was, that trying. was inspiring, by the way. across the lake in the glare uh -huh. and you see that the trails or the paths of the birds make a design. Uh -huh. I like that. all those antennas on Black Mountain there. Jeff Mills and I uh, decided we would climb that one time. Several hours later we we're part way up and unable to move around much and finally a guy with an old Jeep came up and we're... <laughs> it, it's ten times bigger than it looks. And he had to give you a bail you out? He had to bail us out and take us back down. Areas. All the uh, all the birds are going to nest mainly in that big one over there, and uh, Not this one, but the one on the other side. Yeah, well, they'll go anywhere, but it's getting real close to where you're going to see armies of little yellow geese this big, all going in a line, which is after they give birth. That's tremendously cool. The geese go, see where that telephone thing is over there? Mm -hmm. They go to the park over there to eat and they also go this direction. So sometimes you'll see a flight of them coming in for a landing and that's cool. If, if you have the opportunity to get that, 
It only occurs every so often. They can't hear me when I cry. This was a uh, some sort of gravel pit. And at that end down there, there's actually groundwater springs coming up, which is really why Las Vegas is here in the first place. It was a low, low place in a bowl where there was water. And yeah. uh, well, if you look, the bowl goes down to like downtown uh -huh. or the strip. Uh -huh. And so that's, that's where the meadows were, meaning there was water. And that's since they were all dying for water, that's why it, it started here. On some days I do alternate stuff like sometimes I warm up with a lap and then I do resistance bands. They're like two handles and you do all whole big set of exercises. I'll do that as well over, usually it's abandoned over here, but I, I go where the wind break is. Sometimes in the morning it's a little cold in the winter. Well, the birds are talking somewhere, but I can't see where. You can tell it's different behavior with the geese here. In other seasons, they all walk in a line up and down, one behind the other like that. <laughs> oh, is that what you say? You just barely see the snow-capped mountains in the far distance. It's kind of cool because that's 50 plus miles away.
different seasons you get different visitor birds and things like uh, I, I don't know the difference between a vulture and a condor but something that's so huge it's unbelievable and slowly goes off in the distance Again, uh, early in the morning when there's not very many people here, you'll see, it seems like they're mostly Asian guys, but old Asian guys doing some, whatever that slow, where you move real slow and different, something communing with nature and doing an exercise. Those are seagulls. I think so. Or seagull-like bird. And they're pretty distinctive, but I don't. I can't say I know. I haven't even figured out what the black ones that are here all the time are. They dive down the bottom. I was thinking maybe they were cormorans or something, but I'm not sure. This, uh, this whole shoreline, first of all, is where the springs come out, or some of the, some of the springs come out, 
and they have just cleared it, but it's usually eight or 10 or 12 feet tall with this kind of rushes, except thicker and bigger over all across there, across this whole water line here. Yeah, like this, uh, some of those are really pretty when you get close, get to see the iridescent color and stuff on the head. You can make it. still snickering about the so I can look like the dweeb with the go bra on.
Yeah, that's all, folks.